frankly, is a global scourge. There's not a family, a school, an organization, a military, a government, or any activity free from this problem. Um, and that's a powerful statement. Um, there is, in effect, no place on the planet where women, children, and the vulnerable are safe from sexual predation or the potential for that. We have that problem as well in the UN. We want to be a standards-bearing organization, so we need to make very clear what are the standards. What are the standards of behavior that are expected of everyone uh, who operates under the UN flag, uh, either as an employee, as a military, police, working with us as contractors, or for that matter, any organization or force that operates under a UN mandate? Um, what are the standards that are expected? Certainly, uh, no one expects abuse, uh, sexual abuse, abuse of children, abuse of vulnerable populations and women. And we need to make this really very clear. To sit uh, and hold the hand of, of someone uh, who's had their person violated in the most intimate way. Um, some of these acts you, you can't even imagine. And they can describe it in graphic detail, so you don't have to imagine it. You can relive it with them, but in the reliving of it, they're victimized again. Um, so what we have to do is have a system that minimizes the trauma that they've experienced in the sense not to minimize it and to make light of it in any way, shape, or form, but not to re-victimize them through repeated interviews, repeated exposure to authority. Tell your story again and again and again. They didn't want to live it the first time. Um, we should minimize the need for them to relive it again and again, but bring them aid, bring them protection, and bring them justice. I think anyone who has children, um, anyone who's spoken to victims, anyone who has themselves um, been the recipient of unwanted advances uh, of any kind uh, feels passionate about this issue. I mean, we, the world has a real problem. There's no family, church, school, office, activity where this isn't an ever-present danger. We need to wake up to that fact and say, we are not going to tolerate that. We're not, we're going to do everything we can to prevent this from happening. I mean, we as individuals, as, as, as international civil servants committed to the values and ideals of the UN, how can we say this is our responsibility? How can we say, you know, sorry, uh, those were non-UN forces, so there's nothing we can do to help you? Our, we owe, have to always have our human rights lights on, our ears open, um, and our hands willing to lend assistance where it's needed and to say, I will not put up with this. Not here, not now. Um, we all have to do what we can.